<laughs> Good morning, Bulldogs. I'm Amanda Sardinas. And I'm Kayla Mendez. Today is November 1st, 2019. With it being the end of spooky season, Drama hosted their annual Halloween coffee house. So we sent our bravest reporter, Ellie, to check out the latest mystery. Last Wednesday, our very own Drama Club hosted the annual Halloween coffee house, an event where our very own students shined on stage. The drama program fundraises by performing and hosting a talent show where everyone and anyone can come and be entertained. Our very own students interpreted their own renditions of well-known songs, played with different instruments, and showed their talents on stage. Here are some words from our very own drama teacher, Ms. J. Coffee houses give students the opportunity to express themselves and get comfortable performing. Um, and I think that's a good way to portray their talents, not only for them to get better as performers, but to their classmates and their peers who probably didn't know, hey, the girl who sat in my third period actually knows how to play the piano. So I think those are a good opportunity for allow um, the students, not only one, to showcase their talents, but for other students to see them. Coffee houses can be step stones for future performances simply because, like I said before, they allow the students the opportunity to gain experience as performers. And they get to get a, a taste of what um, show business is like as far as call times, rehearsal schedules, technical rehearsals, and actual performance, da performance dates. This has been Ellie Ruiz reporting for BTV. Our athletes have conquered some scary competition lately. Here's Daniela with sports. On Saturday, October 19th, the Braddock football team destroyed Ferguson, leading with a score of 42 to zero. Congratulations, Bulldogs. October 25th, Braddock played against Miami Springs, but unfortunately lost with a score of 22 to 25. Braddock's cross country team has been on a roll since last Thursday on October 24th at districts with the girls winning and the guys qualifying for regionals. Congratulations, Bulldogs. This has been Elizabeth Grania reporting for Braddock TV. A couple of spooktacular things have happened here at Braddock in the past two weeks. Here's Brian with a frightening recap. On October 17 and 18, HOSA hosted its annual blood drive where students volunteered and donated blood to One Blood. Each student who donated had the potential to save up to three lives. As a benefit, students who donated received free shirts, pizza, and community service hours. On October 18th, the World Language Honor Society hosted a luncheon for all of the teachers to come out and enjoy lunch from different cultures. Teachers were also able to socialize amongst each other and received special performances from students. On Wednesday, October 23, the Science National Honor Society hosted Mold Day, which was created to foster interest in chemistry. Various schools throughout the country celebrated Mold Day with different activities related to chemistry and our molds. Here at Braddock, students were able to participate in games such as water balloon tosses, mole races, pin the mole, bowling, and many more. This past weekend, our very own BTV competed in the Florida Scholastic Press Association District Competition. On Saturday, they went to the FIU campus where they were able to experience workshops based on photography and ways to improve their overall skills. They also had the chance to meet and ask WSVN's very own Alex DeArma some questions. On the 29th of October, our very own Bulldogs had the opportunity to meet with representatives from different colleges and universities, such as FIU, UCF, UF, Miami-Dade, and many more. On October 31st, the Braddock Bunch kids had a fantastic Halloween going trick-or-treating class from class. Bulldogs took the candy from the trick-or-treat bag. Rainbow took the candy from the trick-or-treat bag. Hey, Amanda, did you hear about that new horror movie coming out? The one about the clowns? No, 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 like it's even scarier than that. It's about security guards. <gasps>
Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at GHB underscore TV. And tune into our YouTube channel on Fridays at 10, 15 a.m. for new episodes. And remember to make it happen with, with Braddock, Braddock TV. TV. Don't have any candy, but I can tell your fortune. Enter. Okay. Right this way. Don't be afraid. What does my fate look like, Miss Tobin? I see. In your future, the same results. You failed the algebra EOC. And you're going to be taking the retake, but you haven't studied anything. Thinking that you can do algebra without ever studying will give you the same results. The diagnostic was not good. What about my fate? Oh, for you. I see wonderful things. I see a bright future. I see a perfect score on the SAT. And the best thing of all, you make it Braddock. I can't believe all those teachers gave us peppermint candies. Are you serious? But do you think all the fortunes she told us were true? I sure hope so. I hope not. I'm not trying to film my EOC again. <laughs> 